I'm actually on 30, 30 stories up high and um, yeah, down there it's chaotic. So it's pretty busy, the road is pretty busy. On this side of town it's mainly very busy and you can see over there too. It's pretty busy there. Over there too it's pretty busy. You can see all those cars there. Gridlock. So the best part of town, if you're in Nairobi, is this side here. These are like the, these are like the cool sides. Like it's not much traffic. You know, look at that. It's quiet. Keep going back that way. That is uh, Westlands over there. Yeah. See the new highway that just built that goes through the whole city and goes as well. Uh, I don't know if it's 10 kilometers or something like that. Long. From there to the airport. From here all the way to the airport. That's the new tower they built. The Chinese built. They're actually building a lot of towers here. And that is the government building over there. And that's Upper Hill. That's the Upper Hill. Side. This is the Nairobi City Hall. Nairobi City Hall. I think they used to have a pool there. Must have got rid of it. That's a Catholic church over there. I think it's a holy something basilica. Holy something basilica. Holy family basilica. That used to be the Hilton Hotel over there. I don't think it is anymore, but it still has a Hilton logo on it. So that's a national tower there. National tower. So we do, we do have a lot of skyscrapers here. As far as I can see, Nairobi is developing. You can see how much development is going on over here. Look, check this out. See here, over here, that green thingy here. That's another massive tower coming up. And you can see all the way back there, all the green mesh you can see there, all those are new towers just coming up. But I think a lot of those are like more like a residential, like apartment style looking units. That's what they're bringing into um, to Nairobi now. That's a new thing. Because we used to have all those down, um, like two stories four stories but now we're getting like big ones big ones coming through that's the city park over there as far as the eyes can see this is the new UN tower that's up a hill that's the British High Commission over there Britain Tower it's called Britain Tower so this is the Nairobi skyline in a nutshell. Obviously Nairobi is huge. There's a lot to see. We need more time to visit Nairobi. Make sure you walk around with change too because there's all these people asking for money. <laughs> it's always good to give some change. So yeah, hopefully that won't be for long because uh, we hope the change will come soon. So yeah, this is it. There's all government buildings around here. You know, that is uh, railway, Kenya Railways. Over here, it used to be big back in the day. Looks like uh, it's getting a little bit revamped. It had collapsed for some years. Technology, Technology University of my room of Kenya. That must be University. Unitech. Tech. That's the bank. 
So, um, where was the... I'm trying to show you where the American embassy used to be. It's just somewhere around here. Um, what's the time stop? The American embassy used to be there when they had the bomb blast. See where they have that monument there? Just in between there. That's where the American embassy used to be. So it would have been uh, hectic over here. So that place where that bomb blast took place was actually one of the most busiest place, places in Nairobi. Because that's the bus terminal and the train terminals over there. See all those trucks there? All those buses down there? So yeah, it's one of those busy areas that I was talking about. You see Nairobi is getting big as for sure. So yeah, it's Mamba over here, as usual, get some subscribe channel.